head is poor, by thee, thou shalt not be to him as a creditor, neither shall you lay upon him interest. If thou as all take thy neighbor's garment for a pledge, and shall deliver to him, to him a sundown, but that is his only covering, it is his garment for his skin, and what shall he sleep? And it shall come to pass when he cries to me that I will hear, for I am gracious, thou shalt not reveal the judges, nor the curse, the ruler of thy people, thou shalt not delay to offer the first of thy ripe fruits, and of the liquors, the first, to offer the first of the ripe fruits, the liquors, the firstborn of thy sons, shalt thou give to me, or in like manner shalt thou do with thy oxen and with thy sheep seven days, it shall be with his dam on the eighth day, thou shalt give it me, and you shall be holy men to me. Neither shall you eat any meat that is torn of beasts in the field. You shall cast it to the dogs. Thou shalt not raise a false report. Put not thy hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to incline after a multitude to pervert justice. Nor shalt thou favor a poor man in his cause. If thou meet thy enemy's ox or his ass going astray, thou shalt surely bring it back to him again. If thou see the ass of him that pays thee lying under its burden, let us forbear to unload it. Thou shalt surely unload it with him. Thou shalt not pervert the judgment of thy poor in his cause. Keep thee far from a um, false matter, and the innocent and the righteous slay thou not. Thou wilt not justify the wicked, and thou shalt take no bride. The bride blinds the wise, and perverts the words of the righteous. Also thou shalt not oppress a stranger, for you know the heart of a stranger, seeing you were strangers in the land of misery. In six years thou shalt sow thy land, and shalt gather in its fruits. But the seventh year thou shalt let it rest in my fallow, that the poor of thy people may eat, and what they leave the base of the field shall eat. And like manner thou shalt deal with the vineyard, and with thy olive grove six days, and thou shalt do thy work. And on the seventh day thou shalt rest, that thy ox and thy ass may rest. And the son of the handmaid and the stranger may be refreshed. But all things that I have said to you be mindful of, and make no mention of the name of other gods, neither will it be heard of thy mouth. Three times thou shalt keep a feast to me in the year, thou shalt keep the feast of the unleavened bread. Thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days as I commanded thee, in this time without the appointed month of Abed. For in it thou dost come out from Israel, and none shall appear before me empty. The feast of the harvest, the first fruits of thy labors, which thou hast sown in the field from the feast of ingathering, which is at the hand of the end of the year. When thou hast gathered in the labors of the field three times in the year of all thy nails shall appear before the Lord God, thou shalt not offer the blood of thy sacrifices, nor believe in them, neither shalt thou have the sacrifice from the end until the morning, 